we grew up in a house which was a mix of uh, tradition, liberalism, and science. There's one word which many people use uh, about that kind of people. They call them Sanskritic liberals. They, they, they actually are traditional from one point of view, but socially and uh, culturally, in some sense, very liberal. My father, in particular, was a scientist. He was a physicist. He was uh, teaching in Central College. He set up a wireless lab here, and he was in some sense a pioneer in introducing wireless as a branch of physics in the university. Many of his friends were poets, and men of letters. And in fact, uh, in the house I grew up in, we would very often have visitors. Mr. Puthi Narsimacha was one, a great poet. Mr. D.L. Narsimacha, a great linguist and a Kannada scholar. My mother was, uh, you know, the, she was married very young. She was probably around 10 years. She never went beyond seventh class or seventh standard. But uh, she was a remarkably intelligent and well-informed person. She was very well-read in Canada. She knew the classics, kept reading all her life. This is where I started my schooling. It was a row of sheds behind these buildings. Everything there has completely disappeared, including a big rock. It was uh, characteristic of that uh, little campus. And that was uh, the late 1930s. I was six or seven at that time. And that's where I learned my ABC and IEE and arithmetic and so on. As the school was founded in 1942, I moved here from Gandhi Bazaar. And one uh, remarkable thing, about the school was its teachers. In retrospect, I'm amazed at uh, how committed they were and how many really good teachers they were. There are some other students who went to the same school. The most notable person is Professor Nara. And he has the same impression of extraordinary teachers. Some of it was connected with the national movement. I think they actually thought they were doing something very important. Uh, especially with respect to science. I joined uh, what is now called the University of Vishweshwaraya College of Engineering, UVC. See, the engineering college in uh, Bangalore at that time had a national reputation, partly because of Vishweshwaraya. The present status of Bangalore as a capital for science and technology actually goes back to those times, goes back to people like Visheshraya, Nalwadi, Krishna Rajwadi, the fourth of my soul, the Tatas, uh, the people who, the Tatas that brought, they brought here at the Indian Institute of Science. These were really the seeds of Bangalore's growth as, uh, well, what many of us think as the capital for science and engineering in the country. Well, this is where I discovered fluid dynamics as a subject in science. I came here in 1953. I had just got my degree in engineering. And I had by then already made up my mind that I would like to do aeronautics if possible. I came here as a young kid to this very quadrangle. And what I saw was a second world war spitfire parked under this tree. And that was the first time I encountered an aircraft, so I could go touch it. Uh, the Spitfire had made a big name for itself in the war. So I saw that and I said, okay, if there's some engineering I'm going to do, that's what I should do. After I'd done my diploma here, as it was called at that time, it was like a master's in engineering degree. I had two options before me. Either I would continue research in fluid dynamics, or I said, I joined the meteorological department. So I was already in that, at that time interested in with the things connected with weather and climate and so on. So, um, Professor Dhawan, who at that time was a young assistant professor in this department, had been busy building labs. There was a high-speed lab there, there was a low-speed lab here and so on. And he said in 1955, why didn't you come and uh, join us for research here? So I was uh, very happy he asked me that and uh, I said a very enthusiastic yes. And spent two more years here, 
do ingressante. People still used to go to what is now Mahatma Gandhi Road. Uh, the old name of South Parade was still in use. So people would go to South Parade to look at movies, usually English movies. And uh, the favorite time for doing that was in the evening. And you had to go through Sankey Road. And that was actually a palace orchard. And there was really an orchard on both sides. And at uh, night, it used to be very dark. So people actually I remember batches of students who would uh, go to South Parade to watch a movie, come back uh, late at night and uh, were speaking loudly so that people knew that they were moving in a group. Now, when I went in uh, 1957, a historic event occurred uh, when the Soviets launched uh, the first satellite ever in the world. Now, um, that was not something that uh, everybody in America was willing to believe, but um, the Soviets sort of demonstrated that, uh, that the satellite was there. One of my earliest impressions, very vivid in my mind, is uh, that the Soviets announced that if you wanted to see the Sputnik, you should look at uh, the sky at a certain hour in a certain direction, and you'd see a bright spot moving across the sky. I remember all of Caltech, all of Caltech really, all the students, all the faculty, all the staff, were up on some terrace or the other to see if they could see. And at the appointed time, it came there. That uh, changed the way that uh, aeronautics was doing its research. All of a sudden, space became very important. Here is a picture of the faculty at Caltech when I was there. Well, there are quite a large number of them. And I'm here somewhere in one uh, little spot here. But uh, the thing about this faculty was that it was internationally known, almost without exception. Almost everybody there who was faculty um, was very well known in his field in the United States and uh, elsewhere. That uh, immediately raised the standards of teaching and of research, and I think all students became conscious of it. I really had a very happy time at Caltech, I must say, and one that I thoroughly enjoyed. It was a very intense period of my life when uh, new things were happening all the time professionally, new personal friends, new experiences. Although every now and then, uh, there were also some old ones. I was surprised after a few months to discover that there was a cricket team at Caltech. And although I'd played cricket in India and was uh, no great cricketer, I found that it was enjoyable to play cricket with them. And I traveled around Southern California playing cricket for the team.